Hello everyone and welcome back to Coral Island. My name is Melanie V. It is now Friday the 12th day of winter. Let's check out the mail here. We got a letter from Millie. Hi Melanie V. I'm planning on writing an article about the ocean and I need a bottle of kelp essence. Please let me know if you have one for me to purchase. I definitely have that. Okay, so we need to gift Millie one bottle of legendary kelp. Oh, maybe I don't have that. <laughs> Okay, do we have any crops ready as a yet? Oh, we do. Look at that, we got some tea. This is fantastic. Let's go ahead and grab all of this tea. So all of the seeds we're finding is producing tea. These ones aren't quite ready yet, nor are the snowdrops. Okay, let's get our animals out. For some fresh air. Come on out, everyone. I think we really need to spend some time clearing out some of these trees on the farm. We gotta start making our farm a little bit more functional. And right now, it's completely chaotic. Okay, all the little birdies are out. Hello, everyone. I see a lot of smiles. Let's grab some hay here. And we'll place this on the inside. got our trough all full. Okay, so we got duck eggs today. So the duck and the quail are going to produce alternating days, I assume. I don't know if it takes two days or more than two days for the quail to produce eggs. I guess we'll see. And let's go check in on our big barn animals. We'll collect our milk. No wool for us today. I don't even know what I can do with the wool. Um, that is not what we need. Put that away. We'll take this instead. Thank you very much. And thank you very much. Oh, we got double milk products. Very nice. Did we give everyone pets? Nope, we did not. Here we go. And let's make some more cheese. Now we got two qualities of cheese, but we did put in two qualities of milk last time. So that makes perfect sense. Grab these and put them in here. Now, we do need to donate a tea leaf to the goddess, I believe. Did she have any specific qualities required? It seems like any of these will work, so let's go with a uh, silver quality. And we're gonna put some of our tea leaves into the fridge. I wonder if we can, like, make any actual tea <laughs> with this. Um, let's look at the recipe book. So right now we're missing our frying pan. And we're also missing the skillet and the pot. What can be used to make tea? Um, okay. I don't see any of these things making tea. Unless it's just something we have to find the recipe for it sometime. Who knows? But I definitely want to purchase some more equipment from the sock and pan shop. But before we spend any money today, I definitely want to make sure to get 
the upgrade for our barn. I think we need like a hundred pieces of stone, 40 of the hardwood, and 10 fiber. We got the fiber handled, we got the stone handle, the wood not quite. Let's put that aside, and I didn't actually put any tea into the fridge, did I? Well, I don't even know if I have space in my fridge to actually hold any tea. I think my fridge is pretty full. Ooh, we got one single spot. We are going to use that. I'm going to put five tea leaves in there. And I guess we'll sell the rest of these. And let's sell this. Let's sell this too. I'm gonna toss some wood in there. We got all this egg. Let's set the eggs in here for now. And we are gonna make some more essence. So... Let's make some gold essence since we can sell that for a fairly decent price. We'll put that away. I will need some glass as well. And whilst I'm at it, I should make some more glass. Grab some scrap here. So we'll stick this in here first. Oh, we need 10. 10 to make each one. Um, I guess we'll take some more of this. We'll put this away right now. There we go. Get some scraps in here. Done. I really wish we could actually make use of our mason jars. But we just got nothing to put in there. Actually, I never tried putting tea. <laughs> I don't know if you can put tea in mason jars or not. I guess we should find out. Hmm, let's take some of that. Please, please, please go in. Alas, it does not work. You cannot put tea leaves into the mason jar. One thing we need to do is water our trees. We'll grab that. And let's get our water can refill first. There we go. Do that that way. And we're done with the watering for today. Eventually, we are going to get our layout changed. It's going to be optimized. <laughs> right now, it just seems so wacky. And let's put this away here. Uh, we do have some excess trash. We'll make more scrap. Um, let's grab one more, then wait, one more scrap, and we are going to head off into the woods in order to find some more hardwood, and we can go over to see Dinda Ojoko, hopefully their shop is actually open today, I should probably check that. Uh, yeah, they're open today. Open till 5 p.m. Okay, now we just need to find enough hardwood. So we're gonna need 10 pieces. Fingers crossed we can find that many logs. Uh, so far I'm seeing zero logs. Oh, here's one. I don't think this is going to give us 10 pieces, though. 
Ugh, just six. We need another one of these logs. Do these logs exist anywhere else? Or are there any trees we can find that produces hardwood? I don't actually think we've encountered any as yet. So we might just be out of luck for today. Yeah, that's what it looks like. This is just a regular tree, right? This just produces regular wood. Yeah. Wood, sap, pine cones. No hardwood. So, we might have to wait until tomorrow to get our upgrade completed. Do you produce hardwood? I don't think so. I've not done these trees before. Are there any trees we have missed? Let's grab that. Maybe we can go and get our tool upgraded instead. I don't want to really waste my money on getting a tool. But I th I guess we have 23,000. You know, that is a lot. And the upgrade for the barn is only 6,500. So... Yeah, we can afford it. Let's see about getting a tool upgraded. So I think the tool upgrades cost 10,000. But the thing is, they also cost hardwood. Ugh, that's rough. Yeah, we don't want to spend our hardwood on that, actually. Maybe we should just go double check. We'll take that frozen compost. Um... We're not in the right place. We need to head over to Blacksmith. Let's take the fast travel over. Up to the woodlands. We'll double check what we need for our next upgrade. Fresh. Hey, Raphael. So, we can actually upgrade our hoe to silver, or our watering can to silver as well. The osmium can, or osmium axe, a tool for chopping wood. I would think I would want to get my site upgraded first, but I don't really need to upgrade my axe, do I? Is there something else that's tougher? Oh boy. All of these are going to be great. To get these upgrades done, it's going to take four days. That is a lot of time. That is a lot of time. Yeah, so our next tool upgrade. That's gold. We don't have anything for gold to be upgraded right now. So just the hoe and the watering can. Um, I don't really need a watering can, actually. Since we have sprinklers. I don't know, we're gonna skip it, I guess. Well, it's 5 o'clock. All the shops are closing up now. Let's get back to the farm. I think maybe we'll head into the ocean today. Before we go, we need to put some things away. What can we put in there? So disappointed I couldn't do my hardwood today. But I think we shall be able to do it tomorrow, so we have to wait a little bit longer. Uh, I'm running out of space for some of my resources. Let's sell off a few things. I'll hang on to the trash. Let's grab something for some energy whilst we're in the ocean. We can probably put our hoe away and our axe too. 
patch they we can. We are out of space. Let's put that in there instead. Okay, we'll make another batch of mayo. And let's head down to the pier. So we can go deep diving once more. Now, what kind of progress did we make last time? I don't remember. It's been a few days since we've been in the ocean. Let's go diving. Yeah, okay, we got a seahorse over here, but I think we've caught the seahorse before. Don't need to bother with him. Not as yet. Let's actually have a look at the map. So there's two coral sites up this way. I guess that means we should head up that way. We got some dark roots blocking the way. Are this going to be receding? Yes. There's definitely a lot of trash here. Let's start to get these two unblocked right now. And the root service. Which, oh, look at that! I see osmium kelp! Finally, yeah, we're down to the depth of 55 meters. This is so fantastic! Finally! We got three pieces already. Let's see if we can find some more. I wonder how much more effective our osmium site would be. Hopefully we can get that soon. But right now, I really want to find some more osmium kelp, and I see some down here. Okay, our stamina is getting kind of low. We'll have a drink of jamu. And there's some more osmium kelp! We'll take it. We got our first 10 pieces. Oh, what is this? A pirate coffer? <laughs> okay. We'll take it. We'll see what we can find in there. Should be interesting. Okay, we need more osmium kelp. But I would also like to find an activator. Ooh, osmium, over here. Let's get this trash out of our way. Just a single one. Okay, and there's a couple more coral sites over here to clear up. You know, I keep telling myself I want to try the Vortexinator because we did get unlocked the crafting recipe for the Vortexinator level 2. Is it level 2? I feel like it was. Yeah, maybe we should try this and see how effective it actually is. So level 1 definitely was not that impressive, but maybe 2 would be better? Well, it has to be better than one, right? There we go. Finally, an activator. Okay, let's get the pad cleared for this one. And 
is heading in this direction down here. This one out before the night is over. I certainly hope so. These iridescent corals are so pretty. a new bug over here. Focus, I cannot. I gotta catch it. Got it. A blood belly comb jellyfish. That is unusual looking, but also kind of pretty. Okay, the pad for this coral site is really long. I don't know if we're gonna get it done in time. Oh, there's another activator here we missed. How do we miss that? Well, let's activate it. Well, yeah, we've definitely traveled quite some ways. But can we get it all done in time? I don't know. It's already after 1 a.m. If only we can stop time. Okay, so we've come back all the way around. And... Are we gonna get it activated in time? Well, we're gonna have to move our anchor over here anyway. I just wanna see it make it over here. Otherwise, we might lose it. Um, let's just, we're gonna stay asleep in the ocean today. <laughs> Are we gonna get it done on time? Wow, we landed our anchor right on that spot. How fortuitous is that? <laughs> okay, well for today we have made 2,170 coral coins. Not bad, and I think that's gonna be it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching.